Welcome, and thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. <coughs> yeah. As the cough may have noticed, we have a guest today. It is Keith from the Malted Man Cave. Yeah. And with you as always is Mike and my good friend Billy, and today we bring you They'll Kill Hellman, Lockhorn. Did I say that right? Yeah. Lockhorn. All right. Kill Hellman, a relatively new distillery, Isla oh, Distillery. Kill Hellman. I believe... It was founded in 2005, if I'm not like, mistaken. Smells exactly like glass, Mike. And, <laughs> and with this particular one, this is a 46% ABV bottling, natural color, non chill filtered, just how we like it, sherry cask and peat. This is roughly a five or six year old whiskey. It says distilled in 2010, six. bottled in 2016, five or six years old. Cohoman, Lockborn. Let's get into it. Keith, what do you know about this one? Sure, Bob. Kilhoman is kind of like the spring bank of Isla. They're kind of known for just doing everything natural, non-colored, you know, they don't chill filter. Everything they do is natural. I'm pretty sure they use mostly first fill casks and they literally, they have malting floors, they bottle it at the plant. So I, I think at one point spring bank said they're the only distillery that did every single th part of the process of making the whiskey on mm -hmm. the distillery. This one, does the same. They do everything at the distillery. I'll say so, this. I'm gonna love. That's it. why a five or six year old whiskey is that be dark? like hundred and ten dollars. <laughs> well, it's that, dark. How much it, was this? Uh, what is it, like ninety bucks or something? I think after taxes. Uh, about about hundred bucks. About Turkey Day, 2017, 100 bucks. Oh my. So only five or six years old. This is a dark whiskey for being natural color. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Look at that. That yeah. is. That's a pale gold, like a rich caramel color. For again, for five or six year old whiskey, I'd bet money yeah. there are some first fill sherry casks in here. I, I would be surprised if it wasn't all first fill. I wish we knew if they were. Wow. Does that not say anything on there? It doesn't. I mean, it no, we didn't even know. We weren't even planning on reviewing this. We just randomly decided impromptu yeah, we, to do it. Literally on the way here, they bought this. Yeah. Keith picked it up on the way here. We looked good. We, we were going to grab that or Caligula 15 year old cast strength. Caligula. I don't think it was a wrong answer. All right, guys, I'm telling you what, for natural oh. color, Great color, 46% uh, ABV, so not original cash strength, five or six year old whiskey. Dude, so the, at the very tail end of the nose, you get like cow manure. It's so good. <laughs> you get that tar, you get that hemp rope, like boathouse oh. with like line from a, you know, for non military, it's like a rope. Oh, really, with really, it all. really dirty hay. Really, really dirty hay. First of all, right off the bat. Shitty hay. Just, just, mm. oh. <laughs> just roll around. Right in my mouth. Right off Sex the... with an ugly chick. <laughs> Chelsea Clinton. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Right as soon as my nose hit it, I thought to myself, our big Gugadale. This is a very similar nose. And what I mean by that is you're getting that young whiskey. Yeah. You're getting sherry. Mm -hmm. You're getting peat. But most of all, what I think is you're getting like this dark, rich chocolate in a nice oh, velvet, yeah. velvety smoke. <laughs> with a little bit of sherry. <clears throat> I'm just excited that we're doing something peaty. We haven't brought you guys any peat for a while. You told the people we're bringing them peat this next time. We're bringing fire. Fire! <laughs> Going heavy peat. You guys I'm aren't... supposed to be spitting today. Don't spit. Don't but spit. I, I got... just there's, Some of this is going down the gullet. I'm telling you right now. I tell you what, for a young whiskey? Wow. Hey. You know, this is why I want to see age statements on whiskeys. I don't, I don't care how young they are. Yeah, it doesn't matter how old. Just let me know how old it is. Right. I just, for my own general knowledge, try to get a good profile of what other things are. Because yeah. now, I've always thought in my mind, our big Oogadale of maybe 11 or 12 years old, smelling this, I'm thinking it's like 7, 8-year-old whiskey. Yeah. Which is fine. Yep. I like it better than the 10. Just be honest. Yeah, just transparent. tell me. Just tell us. Do you guys know what provenance means? Kind of in whiskey? It's a in Rhode Island, right? <laughs> yes. I've been there, I think. Provenance is kind of like this new thing where like Kilhoman... Springbank, like you know, with the local barley that you guys graciously oh, gifted me. Thank you. That was, that was amazing. One. Good one. It's it's just provenance is where the frick did this come from? What kind of cast were used? What kind of water? Yeah. Where did you get the cast from? What kind of barley did you use? And that I think is something that's making Kill Holman um, popular so quickly, so fast, and that they get away with selling a whiskey that's only five or six years old is because they tell you it's five or six years old. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. As long as it's good, and you tell me, and you don't try to hide it. Behind color, or? this I want to go out to the horse barn and roll around in a dirty horse pen when I think. <laughs> this smells so good. With an ugly chick? Yes. Guy? I want to pour this on a chick while I'm doing it with her. 
<laughs> so I can smell this. There is an earthy characteristic to I this. I love it! I fucking love it. And as soon as you swallow, that earthy characteristic gets very bitter. Do, you think you, do they know what this is? I know you guys know what scotch is. Do you know what this is? It's how you click the like button. Poo! Easy peasy. Cost you nothing. Literally zero dollars. If we earned it. I mean, don't, don't just give it away, you know, on a whim. Because what does it mean? That is really good. Mm. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, it almost has, because of a lower ABV than the other nail, a better mouthfeel. Yeah. Have you had a, you guys had Dove milk chocolate, oh, the dark chocolate? Sorry, not milk chocolate. There's definitely dark chocolate there. Yeah, there's definitely the dark Dove chocolate. The Dove milk chocolate after you, after you like, on the nose for me, when you unwrap the aluminum foil on the Dove dark chocolate, it's just like. And the aluminum foil. With like hemp rope. And you get the aluminum foil too? <laughs> no. <I'm kidding. laughs> I'm well, kidding. sometimes you can get a metallic. Remember the Brook Laddie? I'm not, Classic Laddie? Yes. I'm not getting a metallic any of that. taste? I'm not getting any of that. What I am getting though is they're redoing the road by my work and they put down some tar today, like on the edge. I'm getting that fresh road tar. This is so good. This is ridiculous. At the end, there's chocolate and peat right up front. And then as it kind of as it goes away, as it fades, there's no stinging, no burning in the mouth, which I don't. I like a little stingy, stingy, so I know what I just did. Mm-hmm. But there's a fruity, there's like a some kind of fruitiness at the end there that I really cannot put my finger on. It's very tar covered apples, maybe it's, a tar covered pear. I don't know if I'm getting apple or pear. I tell you what. I don't know what I'm getting. There's something there though. Any of you that like the Arbeg Ubi. <clears throat> Who have ever thought that the Ubi Dale has maybe slipped in the last four or five years? And I'm one of those folks. Try this. There, it's not as old. There's a subtle richness that stays with you, like the Ardbeg Ubi Dale used to six years ago. Ardbeg Ubi Dale used to be my favorite whiskey, my go-to whiskey. I think there's been a procedural change with it, but I'm telling you this: there is something about this that reminds me of the good Ubi Dale. Anyway, I put the part back in the much. day. When everything was better. Yeah. Yesterday. Like when we were kids. Yeah. America. Fuck yeah. Back when we didn't have air conditioning. America. Back when we didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> it's a sign. America. Uh. <laughs> uh, Back when I thought wrestling was real. I, wrestling is real. What the oh, fuck? No. Jerry Lawler? Oh, gosh. Uh, this is delicious. You're right. The fruitiness <laughs> comes out of it a little bit more. I don't, I don't know what kind of fruit water. it is, though. It's like... The maltiness, like the barley sugar, is so rich yeah. and malty, mixed with like, like you said, hay. Oh yeah. And uh, oh yeah, some dirty hay. I know I said I wouldn't pour from this bottle anymore, but I, I tell you, I've been an over. Damn it, Billy! Damn it, Billy! He just well, put two ounces. I got, some, <laughs> I got some whiskey with my water. <laughs> all right, I got. Well, go, I, I, I got to go back to not pouring out the bottle anymore. <laughs> We're gonna get him a dropper. <laughs> We need to get you a dropper. Yeah, we need to get one of those fancy droppers that the scotch <laughs> test dummies have. These hands are not meant for delicate procedures. I was never a says. surgeon. Oh, man. Okay, so with plenty of water. <laughs> and that I got no the water. <laughs> that peat just got, hangs on. That I, peat just hangs on, man. I mean, it's good. I'm still. Wow. That's good. I'm, that this was a good choice. Lovely. It was a good choice. Right? No, it was a good choice. Good job. Because Keith was going, Keith was going back and forth between picking this up or a Kalila fifteen-year-old cast strain. The other option was a Brewer thirty-eight for two thousand dollars, which we almost got. We, we were so close to getting that Brewer thirty-eight and bringing that to you tonight. I got kids I gotta feed. Yeah, but then he was worried about getting divorced. I was worried about paying the mortgage. <laughs> Boring. Boring. Stuff you don't we care got about. This famous tattoo artist. We need to talk him into it. So, no, we know you're a baller. It's a peach. I mean, it's a peach. Peach flavored whiskey? That'd be weird. It's a little bit of a peach that oh, is, is oh, 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 oh. that is covered <clears throat> in chocolate, chocolate sugar, dark chocolate covered a peach. I think he talks me into it sometimes. I think he talks me into tasting shit I don't taste sometimes. I think I said that on some These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> we'll be going on right? Peach. You guys get oakiness? Is anybody said oakiness yet? I do not get oakiness. Not at all? Mm. I think uh, there's smokiness. I don't think it's oakiness. Not to me, anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a little bit of char. But I think that's the rotar. Remember I said rotar earlier? Yeah. It's almost I think it's like... Both, though. I think it's got the smokiness, the oakiness, the tar. This is a complex the bottle. The rope. Then you get, like, the fruits, the dark chocolate. Man, dang. Mm. I really can't put my finger on that fruit. Sorry. Tastes like Band-Aids and butthole. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> 
<laughs> you notice when you're tongue you like a chick? Salad? When you're tongue a chick, but it's a almost good like way. electricity on your tongue. Like, what's that? In a good way. It smells like pencil sharpener. Like in, when you sharpen your pencil and you got those shavings. It doesn't taste like that. <laughs> <laughs> smells like it. Cinnamon. I'm getting a little bit more cinnamon in it. On the finish. It's With not power, yeah. the palate and yeah. then on the finish. It's the not butthole. Right here. It's not it's butthole. It's cinnamon. It's cinnamon. <laughs> very, very good. And red hots. You said red hots in our last video. Now I'm getting red hots. Yeah. See, you can talk into it. Power suggestion. I'm getting cinnamon. <laughs> it's a real thing. Cinnamons and red hots on the end. <clears throat> We're not having fun doing these videos. You guys. This is work, everybody. You guys know what fennel is? Oh, yeah, the spice. You get a little fennel? A little, yeah. And, uh, no. It's a what seed. is it exactly? It's a seed. Dude, you gotta get. I get. I have literally have a spice rack down in my basement, nice. so I look like an alcoholic. I got my man cave. I got like twenty <laughs> bottles down here, like within arm reach. Go and then I have like I have like a, you know the spice rack you get from like uh, Bed Bath Beyond. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I have enough time. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyways, and I like literally nose it as I'm drinking whiskey. Like, hmm, what kind of spice do I? Get? I know. I'm totally lame. No, it's, it's real. Do you have all spice in the spice rack? I don't think I have all spice. Uh, just put a bunch together. That's just my like go-to when I don't know what the frick I'm talking about. Uh, notes of all spice and, and have look. We're not <laughs> small. We're not small yays. We're just dudes who like whiskey. Yeah. And have opinions. You guys and have if, and if yours is different than ours, fuck you. So. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. <laughs> this is a good time to talk about subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I gotta tell you, I'm impressed with this. Yes, yeah. impressed. Everything. You I'm know, picking this up. I'm picking this up. Yeah, this no, is there's, happening. They're right? still there. There's. I think there's one. You better go soon. I won't. Go. I think there's somebody will go for me. I have minions. I have assistants that do all that. Whatever media regular people do. I'm one of them. Um, um, but this is natural color. This is unchill filtered. This is a beautiful, rich, dark caramel color. It's smoky. It's so good. It's sweet. Mm. It's like our big Ugadale. Had a yeah. twin who was better looking, and they kept <laughs> yes. her under wraps for years. Yes, yeah, I agree. but she didn't wear like the fancy the like lacy note. panties. Yeah. She wore like the old school white <laughs> cotton panties. The, Gran just, the granny panties. Remind you when you're 15, you're like, God, the granny. what was the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio where he's the king of France? Man in the Iron Mask. Man in the Iron Mask. Yes, this is the good Leo. Oh. The Arbib Ugadale is the guy who's not pleasant. <laughs> it's like Nick Cage. The dick. Yeah, this yeah. is this was he was put in the Iron Mask. And then he didn't have his time, and then they unleashed him. Oh yeah. Mm. This is coming for the Ugadale. Arbeg, take notice. I know you're big part of big conglomerate these days, but uh, this one right here, I gotta say I'm impressed. I think it's impossible for us to do a video without doing a shout out. So I'd like to do a shout out to my little brother. You're awesome. See you, dude, hunting Monday. And with four a.m. Is it? Is it? Monday is it, shotgun. Is it finally? Is shotgun season? I used to hunt when I was a kid. I haven't hunted in a long time. Never hunted in my life. Whiskey well, hunt. Come out to South Chuck. A whiskey hunt wants to up. Yeah. You know where that's at? I'll go. Guys, where you at? What's the score it. was? 90. 90. Agreed. Straight 90. On exactly. The... What? We're out? Three? 90. 90? I'm, okay, so if we're all thinking it's a 90, we all like smoky pea whiskeys. I'm telling you, like the Ugadale picked this up. <coughs> it's worth a try. A five year old at 90 out of 100? Right. Yeah. Five it's insane. Old. It's like the Octomore. It's insane. We're going to yeah. bring you the Octomore. Have just you, because it's young, doesn't And also, it. we may put a picture of Octomom. <laughs> <laughs> right here in the corner. Yeah. Are we taking our shirts off in this review? Next ne one. Next video. Next video. All right. So we I'm want not to, taking mine off. I just want to watch Billy. We are Mike. all thankful that you joined us for another one of Mike and Billy's whiskey reviews. I could give a shit less, honestly. If you guys want to watch us, I don't care. <laughs> We're fucking great. You better watch us. I love you. I'm just, I'm projecting. I'm projecting. I'm a couch where you're not all right. <clears throat> Could you help me? I'm a therapist. He could help me. We want to wish you happy drinking and a happy holiday season. Yes. We appreciate you sticking with us for this year. Have a great holiday. And as always, if you like the video, give us a like, give us a subscribe, talk to me in the comment section. It's usually me talking back to you. And Do whatever. Do whatever we're... makes you happy. Exactly. Until next time, we all wish you. Speaking of happy, happy drinking. Bang. Okay.